Well, I actually started my art uh, some few years back, like precisely when I was four years old. You know, I started drawing as a little kid in the streets of Agege, Lagos. And um, my dad saw my passion. And uh, at the age of nine, he enrolled me in a roadside uh, art studio. And I think that's a cradle, you know, that's a, the beginning of my journey into the art. So I, from there, I moved to the Polytechnic, Auchi Polytechnic, where I studied uh, painting and general art. And I finished, you know, as one of the best students. Then I proceeded to Lagos to do my internship in National Theatre. Uh, I did a training with Mufo Nifade. Then he just felt, young man, you don't have to go back to the Polytechnic, you just have to go to the university. So I went back to Obafemi Awolo University. Then I had my first degree in painting. Then I wasn't satisfied. Then I came back again, you know, to do my master degree again. So after my master degree, my, my first degree was in sculpture. So I came back for my master degree for, in painting. So, and since then, I've been practicing you know, the art. Over time, uh, the, the Nigerian scene, they find it difficult to appreciate art. But as uh, information changes and you know, technology advances, People started saying that, man, I need to beautify my house with an artwork. I need to beautify my street. You know, we need to beautify our environment with art. So it's becoming something, you know, like people are taking very, they are taking serious attention for the art now. And, you know, before, an artist is rated as a pauper on the street. But now, I mean, you can negotiate with anybody. You can. You can stand with anybody in the society and you know you'll be good. In 2015, I was at home just thinking of changing my, my art practice. So I, I went on the internet to check for one of the best metal sculptor in the world. Then John Lopez, you know, is, a, is an American metal sculptor. He's a cowboy. So he's works just pop up on the Pinterest. Then I mailed him, I mailed him and he replied. So believing that I couldn't make it to his place because from Nigeria to where he stays in the US is like going to hell, you know, like going to a, a journey of no return, kind of. So I mean sometimes it will take me three days when I get to New York, from New York to Minneapolis and to South Dakota. So he he he, he never believed I could come. But as a, you know, as, as a Lagos boy, smart guy, Niger boy, I, I had to just, I bought my ticket, I had, a, I had a visa already, so I bought a ticket and I flew. So when I got to the countryside, he was shocked. Then getting to his studio, I saw the amazing sculptures this guy was creating and I said, wow, whatever it cost me to learn some basic principles on creating hybrid sculptures, I'll do it. So in less than one week, he taught me the basics about, you know, his tools, his equipment and stuff like that. So since then, I've been, you know, I've been practicing junk art. But, you know, as an African, we always have our teams, our, our materials are so different. As a cowboy, he uses farm equipment to create his sculptures. But here, I mean, we hardly would have uh, farm equipment so I had to look for automobile junks go to junkyard my dad is a mechanic so I go to the shop sometimes and to pick junks and then pile them together and assemble them together to create stunning sculptures so and it's been amazing you know the response in the market has been crazy the art practice the art practice in Africa would is becoming the you know is going towards the peak and you see that when they have New York auction, you see that it's a Nigerian that is topping the auction. When they have any auction anywhere, it's a Nigerian that is, you know, on the peak, you know, of the whole thing. So it's, it's just a message of hope to the coming generation that something good can actually come out from this nation. So 
I I may find myself outside Nigeria. I mean, God knows. But for now, even if they say the country is collapsing, I will still stay and work. And really? yes, I will. I will. Okay. So I mean, everybody knows you run now. <laughs> I mean, Nigeria is full of a lot of stuff that could inspire you. You know, a lot of stories every day that could make you to do something. You know, so uh, the nature and this nation has actually been my source of inspiration. I believe the in the recent time you discover that most of our cliques, I mean let me use myself as a part of the clique, you know, between the age of 18 to 40, we are we are looking for fast money and we want to make it smart. So with that we we, we don't really want to work hard. So, but what I do say most of the time is that there's nothing that you can substitute with hard work. I can tell you sincerely, I will get to my studio 7 a.m. and I'll work sometimes till 12 midnight. Sleep for four hours, wake up 5 a.m., do some posting, go online for like two hours, 7 a.m. again, start working, burn my fingers till another 12. So I walk around the clock like that. If you walk and you have faith, then you can actually move a mountain. So for the young guys, I, I would just tell, tell them it's hard work. No, no sure. shortcut.